Hey, what's happening, man? Welcome back to No Jumper News, man. It's your boy, AD. Adam ain't here today, so we got Bosco in the fucking building. What's happening, bro? Let's go, gang. Let's yeah. Go. We about to get into these news stories. Let's go. First story. Amber Rose has been prominent since she broke up with Alex A.E. Edwards, the father of her youngest son, Slash. As we previously reported, after years of dating and one baby, Amber Rose exposed A.E. after allegedly cheating on her with 12 women. These were allegations that A.E. did not necessarily deny. To his credit, A.E. did own up to his actions. Amber Rose, however, said that she's still in love with him, despite referring to him as a narcissist. After a few months since their relationship issues played out on social media, it seemed like the couple thought it was a good idea to revisit the moment. A.E. took to his Instagram page, where he shared a not so subliminal message about their falling out, insinuating cheating as a blessing in disguise, while Amber Rose seemingly fired back with a bit of humor. Sometimes getting caught cheating is a blessing in disguise, because if they didn't catch you, you'd probably still be with the same person. A.E. shared the screenshot of Duval's tweet to his story with the caption reading, God's plan. Meanwhile, Amber Rose appeared to catch one of the posts and fire back with an interesting perspective. Finding out your man a bitch gotta be the worst gender reveal ever, her post read. Lil Duval later elaborated on his tweet in the comment section of the shade room, writing, ladies, Look at it like this. You would never met your husband had you not caught the dude before him cheating. I feel like with the Amber and AE situation, it seemed like they still want to fuck with each other, man. They doing all this back and forth shit, man. It's, just, it's real petty. It's like y'all putting too much shit out there for the world. Y'all need to just get this shit together, man, and keep it moving because this shit is too much now. I'm starting to feel like Amber can't keep a man. Wow. Like, like nobody's who, like nobody's kept her. Like, I'm starting to feel like she can't keep a man. That's sco, sco, sco. Might be hitting the nail on the head on that one. Beautiful woman, beautiful woman, but. And they say that the most beautiful women, bro, have the hardest time keeping a man. Why do you think that? Because they're the most toxic. Wow. In my opinion, in my opinion. They're wow. The most toxic. And how do you feel? Like, you don't feel like niggas, we toxic like that? Oh, I know I'm toxic. Toxic as shit. Because you got three 13 year olds, bro. Exactly. Yeah, this is bad. <laughs> this is insane. Yeah. I don't mean to put your personal I mean, shit out there and shit, but I'm like, damn, I mean, you man. Know, I'm, a, I'm a celebrity now. I got three 13 year olds. That's real celebrity shit. I, I, I must be slacking. You know what I'm saying? I only got two kids, they 10 years apart. That's good, though. That is good. Especially for a black man in Los Angeles. I mean, because what happens when they over 30 with no kids? To me, in my eyes, a man over 30 might be gay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You ain't had kids yet? Like, bro, like, yeah. finding out your man is a bitch is the worst gender reveal ever. That was kind of harsh. But was that harsher than you making 21 Savage walk around with a I'm a whole two son? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Is that harsher, though? It is harsh, but which was harsher, though? Like, I don't know. Like, I think I'd rather get called a bitch. They're not walking around with a sign. You, know what I mean? you wouldn't do that if you was in love? No. <laughs> I'm, I'm, a, I'm a hope? No. All right. No. Hey, man, Sko said it, man. Let's go. And wasn't they our pride? No, I think no, it was, it was a, a slut walk. I think walk. it was a slut walk. Yeah, so you're a hoe too at the slut walk? <laughs> yeah, that was pretty. Heavy. He was supporting this woman, man, at the time. Yeah, that shit was zesty as hell, though, bro. <laughs> like, I ain't gonna lie, that was some zesty shit, like, bro, like, uh, I'm a hoe too, like, with a pink backpack. Did you have a pink backpack on? <laughs> okay, next up on the news. At just 22 years old, NBA Youngboy has secured his fourth number one on the Billboard 200 with his recently released album, Sincerely Can Trail. The 21 track project has successfully dethroned Drake's three week certified lover boy run on the Billboard 200. Even more historically, it now puts NBA Youngboy in the same conversation as the late Tupac Shakur and Lil Wayne as the only rappers who released number one albums while incarcerated. The record opened just a few thousand units ahead of CLB, which moved down to number two. The album has since solidified the superstar status that he'd already earned with the new generation of hip-hop fans all without the help of youtube at least that's what his manager alex had to say on instagram following the release of the album youtube told us they can't promote yb because of his image weak ass platform your number one artist three years in a row currently held without bond at saint martin's parish correctional center the incarcerated rapper star has released 11 music videos in 2000 
2018 and 2019. Those videos have all racked up over 100 million views across the platform, reaching more than Drake, DaBaby, and other highly popular rappers. Although he may not be able to celebrate just yet, NBA Youngboy continues to retain his status as one of the fascinating voices in hip hop. Young boy to me, to be one of the, like, I, I completely respect his star status. Like, you know what I mean? He got like a cult following. You know what I mean? He one of the biggest artists in the game, but I just really feel he don't respect his position. Like, he don't respect his position. To me, in my eyes, he just does like, anybody in, in that position, him, him, but not to just put him in a boat because I feel the same way about Kodak too though. I don't feel like he respect his position. I feel like he's starting to, as of now, like as of late, he's starting to try to make better efforts and you know what I mean? But I feel they just like two young and dumb rich niggas. See, but where does a line get drawn when it comes down with like YouTube, you know what I'm saying? They do select the politicking because you know, if you, you number one on somebody's platform for three years in a row, you don't give him no support. You know what I mean? You like it's 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 kind of fucked up because what has he in the public eye done so bad that's warranting that type of treatment? He just like you know what I mean? He he don't respect his position. Like, that's what it is, bro. Like a man in his position. You know what it is too. At the same time, he ain't fall for the agenda. Not really. He a little zesty sometimes. I gotta lie. He get a little zesty sometimes, but he ain't fall for that agenda. He's still a real nigga. So you saying he don't like really conform to the industry? He don't though. You know what I'm saying? He yeah, don't. You don't see him show up to you know the BET yeah, awards. He don't come to like none of the. He don't do none of the shit that the rappers do. So you know, some of the shit that do. Like what? Zesty shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying like get a little zesty on Instagram. But like that's my nigga. I fuck with him. But like sometimes he get, he get a little zesty. Nigga, everybody do something zesty in your eyes. Well. I done made your list before. Yeah, like see, you know, just, <laughs> see, yo, yo, your margin is all is all fucked no, up like, now, no, man. No, that hug was zesty though. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> hey, yeah, man, free young boy, man. Yeah, free young boy, man. Hey, YouTube, I hope you like today's episode. Like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know if you want Bosco to come back next time.